It literally feels like it's going to flip over when I go around any turn. And it's not actually, it just feels like it is because I'm used to driving a very low 2004 Ford Mustang GT, so this is just way different. And I haven't driven this in a while because I've been at my parents' house. We'll take turns very gingerly until we get a little more comfortable with driving. 100 miles an hour in the fast. A diesel and a gas pump is free. Change into some uh, pants because it's freezing outside. We're gonna put some pants on. So we've got pants, nice and warm. And also, I need to fill up my diesel heater tank, which is it's in the engine. There we go. Oh, it's so cold. Figure out. I gotta figure out where I'm parking. I'm using I Overlander, and I'm gonna find a find a spot to park for the night. I'm thinking I'm trying to find a spot. There's a couple spots on the National Mall that I want to stay at. So I think I'm going to try those first on, uh, what's it, 7th Street? Yeah. I'm just going to go straight, try to stay right on the National Mall and hope that uh, there's parking. Which there probably won't be at this time of day. I didn't even think about that. But maybe, who knows? So I was going to do ratatouille tonight, but I think uh, just for the sake of making it easier, I am going to do cheesesteaks. So, so that's what we're doing. Oh, I don't know if I have a mask. Shit. Oh, I do have masks. I bought a pack of this thing. The good thing about this van is I can fit it in a normal parking spot. So I don't have to like, so I don't have to constantly drive around and try to find a spot that fits a, a bigger vehicle because this just fits into any regular parking spot. All right, let's go. Stuff for cheesesteaks. Welcome. Scan it mobile device four. First time I've ever done any real urban camping in a city, so it'll be kind of different for me. Usually I'm camping like on BLM land or just outside of like national parks or in truck stops or places where it's kind of acceptable to do this. So this is like the first time that I'm truly stealth camping on the side of the street in the city. So this will be interesting. Yeah, we're about uh, 41 minutes away. So I'm not very hopeful we're gonna be able to find parking up there, but if we can't, we might have to move somewhere else and just kind of figure it out, or we might have just have to come back later tonight and see if we can find parking then, but I'm not very hopeful. So I have been driving around for 30 minutes looking for a spot. There is so many people out in DC today. There is nowhere to park. I drove by two spots that immediately got taken right when I was there and they were perfect right in the middle of the National Mall. And right when I pulled up, a car pulled up in front of me and took the spot, so it's really not looking too good. I might be driving around for a little bit longer than I wanted to. So we found a parking spot. We are on the mall. The monument's that way. The Capitol building is right there. You can't really see it, but I'll get out and show you guys around. So, see the van. So I got the van right there. The National Air and Space Museum right there. You walk down this way a little bit. And then there's the Capitol building. There is the monument. And that's where I am camping for the night. We're gonna see if we can camp here for the night and not get caught. Uh, that'd be pretty cool. And that's if I don't get robbed and or the police knocking on my door. Okay, so now that we found a spot, I'm gonna start cooking some dinner. Okay. Let's get to cooking. Whoa. Hey, if anyone has any good techniques for peeling an onion, let me know in the comments. I'm also gonna turn on my heater and see if it can keep me warm while I'm cooking. So I just turned it on. I hope I got that on video. Content. There she goes again. Let's caramelize some onions. I got the heater on, it's so hot. I mean, it feels so good. Hey, this is what I'm looking at, by the way. We got everything out there, and then we're cooking onions. And I really hope I have enough propane to cook this meat and these onions. I guess we'll see. Now I gotta cook the steak. Alright, I'm 
to start thinking about toasting this bread. I'm just going to melt some butter in this pan and just kind of press them down into it. I'm going to put some garlic in there. Hopefully those get nice and toasted. I don't know if they will. Onions back in. Awesome around some. So I actually don't have a lid for, for this pan. So I'm just going to use this pie tin to cover them up with the cheese melt. Oh, I don't want these to burn though. Ooh, ooh, hot, hot. There we go. Garlic bread. You selling garlic bread? No, I'm just cooking dinner. Oh, he's just cooking dinner. This is home. <laughs> oh. He's not selling. He's cook he lives here. Yeah. Ow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'm just parking. We're gonna run to the store. We'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> All I'll right, cook, dude. We'll cook dinner for the whole mall. Have a good one. They thought I was selling garlic bread, and they wanted it. Maybe I should start a business. Let's check on that cheese. Oh. I'm pumped. I'm hungry. Hot, hot, hot. Right. That looks good to me. I don't know the best technique for doing this, but I'm gonna go with that. Bon Appetit Philly cheesesteak on the National Mall. I don't know if it looks appetizing from this angle though. Now we're gonna eat it. That's good. It's a pretty good cheesesteak. This is pretty cool. I just cooked a cheesesteak. In my car. And now I'm sitting here eating it on the National Mall. Where I plan to camp for the night. That's my sign that I put up when I go live. Take that down, actually. It's definitely not gonna win any awards, but it's a pretty good cheese stick. So after I go to sleep, if I don't get arrested or someone breaks in or anything else that could happen sleeping in the middle of the street in DC, I think we're gonna go check out some of the food trucks, maybe review some of their foods, and then try to go to some of the museums and just explore DC. But for now, I'm gonna enjoy this cheese stick. All right, that was good. Now I gotta clean up this whole mess that I just made from cooking that. And then maybe go explore a little bit because we still have some sunlight left. So I got dinner all cleaned up. The van is mostly clean. I'm gonna go walk around the mall for a little bit just because we still have some light outside. Um, I got the heater going to keep the van warm. So hopefully when we come back, it'll be nice and toasty warm. Oh, yeah. Maybe we'll walk down there tomorrow, check out the monument and maybe try to go into some of the museums. But for right now, I'm just walking around, kind of waiting for it to get dark because we still got probably another 30 minutes before it uh, is actually dark. So currently it's 33 degrees outside, um, but it's supposed to get down to 20 degrees tonight. So I'm a kind of worried about my pipes freezing, but I have slept in the van with no heat in 19 degree weather and the pipes didn't freeze. And now I have heat and it's supposed to be warmer, so I'm not too worried about it, but still in the back of my mind. All right, so I just walked around the National Mall for a little bit. I've been here a million times. I grew up in the area, so there's nothing really new that I haven't seen. So. I think for right now, I'm just gonna head back to the van, hang out in there for a little while until it gets dark and I might come back out again and just, but I guess we'll see. Right now it is, uh, it's 6.30. I have the diesel heater absolutely cranking. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it is so hot coming out of there. Uh, it's very comfortable in here. It's like 25 degrees outside and I can be in here with shorts and uh, short sleeves and be perfectly comfortable. So diesel heater, very good. But for right now, I think I'm just gonna make some tea. This is the best tea ever. I love this tea. All right. I actually just went outside for a second and looked around and I'm parked right under a street light. So it's actually pretty well lit and I actually don't feel too unsafe where I am. I'm gonna get uh, dressed up for outside and then we're just gonna go outside, walk around and see what we can do. And then maybe I'll go try to find a restaurant and sit down and get a, get a drink or something, who knows. Also, I, I forgot. Pee. So I'm gonna go do that right now in my toilet. Which is up right here. Not gonna record that, but use your imagination. So I kinda wanna go outside and see if I can tell that all these lights are on or if I can tell that someone's in here if it looks completely black like I want it to. It's actually not bad. Can't really tell in the back. Looks like it's just a normal van. I don't know if you would be able to tell that someone's staying in there, honestly. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, there's a little bit of light coming through over there. But other than that, it's pretty good. Pretty sealed up and the corner over there is some light coming through. Also, I know I told you guys that my diesel heater makes some sort of noise, so this is the noise that it makes. So it's not too bad, but it might be bad in DC because it kind of sounds like it's a ticking bomb. So uh, I don't know, I'm I might leave it on all night, I might not. I guess we'll see how cold it gets. But for now, I'm gonna walk down the street to this bar that I looked up on Google Maps and maybe sit down and get a drink real quick. 
Make sure she's locked. It says it's a nine minute walk straight down this road. So I got all the way to the bar and realized that I left my wallet in my van. So now I have to go back and get it and then walk back here. Also, whenever I have a lot of money, my doors on my house better be that big or I'll be pissed. Those things are massive. You can fit like 30 people standing up on top of each other through those doors. Oh, there it is. On my pillow. Back to the bar we go. We made it back and we're going to the headquarters sports tavern. It feels weird being here by myself talking to a camera. Well, never mind. I can't get a drink there because I don't have my vaccination card with me and I don't have a picture of it. So sadly they couldn't serve me. So I guess I am just heading back to the van. At least it is nice and warm in the van. So that's nice. It's not freezing cold when I get back, but well, now I'm just laying in bed drinking another cup of tea, which is better for me, I guess, but I think I'm just gonna watch a movie and call it a night. So I got my remote Oak Road up here. Oh, gotta turn the TV on first. Wait, wrong button. And I hope it's on the right HDMI because I have three hooked into the TV and it's not, so I got two. I have an HDMI, I have an HDMI splitter though, so I can just press a button on the back of the TV and it will flip through the different HDMIs until I get to my Roku, which is there. So now I can go to Netflix and watch a movie. Transformers it is, and I'm actually gonna pull this out so I can see a little better from my bed. It's actually still pretty warm in here, pretty comfortable in short sleeves. Diesel heater, still kicking pretty hard. And this is what it looks like out my window. It's right on the side of the road. Pretty cool. So it is currently 9.43. Right <sighs> it's still pretty warm in here, the heater's still going. Uh, it probably lasts me three days at the current level of what it's set at. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna hang out, set up my phone for the next hour or two, and then fall asleep and hopefully wake up and get some food from one of those food trucks. It is pretty loud though. There have been people oh. driving by really fast in loud cars, but not too bad. So I think for now, I'm just gonna go to sleep and then I will check back in in the morning and go to one of those food trucks. So I'll see you in the morning. <sighs> it's currently 9.30 in the morning. This is our view. We're on. And I actually moved my location last night, like seven parking spots over, just so I was more centered on the National Mall. So yeah, let's get ready. So I'm gonna show you guys where I moved the car to. So basically we're just down the street a little bit, right out in front of the, the monument. So. That water is so cold. Wow. But it's not frozen. Oh, wow, I'm awake now. Let's go. World's best food. You guys open? Okay. I'll just get the uh, steak quesadilla then, and then. Can uh, I also get some uh, bacon cheese fries and a diet coke? That kid can't be old enough to be working in that food truck. There's no way. Thank you. The kids in there beating the shit out of my quesadilla. Thank you. And then can I get the diet coke? Thank you. Have a good one. <coughs> Juice fries aren't bad. It's quesadilla. Looks pretty torched. Quesadilla's pretty good. I just wish I had some sour cream or some salsa or something to dip it in, but that's pretty good. I think I'm gonna go walk over to the monument after I finish eating. Oh my God. Jesus. Bird was hiding out in the trash. Oh. We made it. Ooh. So many people out here running and I just had bacon cheese fries and a steak quesadilla and a Diet Coke for breakfast. Makes me feel like a badass, which maybe I am. Wow. 
DC is such a weird city. It's the only city where you'll see a skyline like this. No high rises. I don't really know the real reason. Honestly, I've never looked it up before. I just know that there is a high restriction on buildings, which is why they look like that. But anyways, this is the monument. It looks way bigger up close. Like Spider-Man. And then down there is the Lincoln Memorial. I don't think I'm gonna walk all the way down there. And the reflecting pool. All right, so since I don't have my vaccination card with me, I can't get into any of the museums that are all over the mall. Um, so I think I'm just gonna head back to the van and probably head home. But let me know where you guys want me to camp next or try to camp next. And maybe I'll turn this into a series. But anyways, if you haven't already, make sure you click that like button, make sure you subscribe. See you guys next time.